What's good, man? It's your boy, Drama House, A Game Entertainment, 216, the movement that we move with. You dig? <laughs> hey, man, I ain't even want to do this shit, man. I just finished watching the fight, man. You understand me? I had the, the crab legs all sit out with the shrimp and the steak and the macaroni and cheese. You understand me? I had it laid the fuck out, man. It was like a one-man a one man show, man. I said, when I woke up, I said, oh, it's fight night. You know what I'm saying? Crab legs, shrimp, you know what I'm saying? We do it big for Wilder, you know what I'm saying? He been he been holding the belt floor like nine times, defending that boy. He the champion, he a black man. I'm like, it's easy money. It's easy money. Forgot all about the weigh-in and all that, but I'm saying to myself, fuck it. It's Dante, you understand me? I don't know no other boxer has, has ever done this before. Maybe I, I'm slipping or whatever, but I'm like, damn. Dante come to the ring, he got a raw ass suit on. I'm like, I'm like, that's fire. The eyes lighting up and shit. I'm like, Dante come to work. Dante take that shit off. And I ain't see the superstar Dante. The earring shining Dante. The, the, you feel me? Like, nigga, on my horse, Dante. The, nigga, uh, yo, yo, I'm, 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 I'm happy to be here. I'm the champ. Y'all here for me, Dante. I ain't see that, man. I seen like some old ugly black nigga. Like, who the fuck is that? That's what I was really looking at. Both of them fighters, like, like if you didn't know boxing, you'd be like, this ain't the main event. It can't be. This big dumb fucking, I don't know what this nigga Sasquatch and this black old man mouth ass motherfucking nigga. Like, when is the next fight about to happen? When is the main event? Because this can't be it. You feel me? When you see who the fuck these was, there was no, it was no energy in Dante, man. Dante looked like something was wrong. And even after the fight, you know what I'm saying? He was like, there was some shit going on, probably at home or something on the back of his head. But ain't no excuses for this shit. But there was no way that Dante could have won this fight. And I'm saying to myself, like, damn. You feel me? I start putting shit together. And I was thinking about the last fight. I'm like, well, Dante didn't. You know what I'm saying? Win those rounds either. Dante can't fight. I know that. Y'all should know that. Dante can't fight. He a big, strong nigga that will put you to sleep. So he don't really got to know how to fight when he can do that. When he can drop a, a, a awkward-ass bomb on your dumb ass, he don't really need to know how to fight because niggas in school, they ain't really know how to fight. It was just a nigga that had that knockout power. He'll knock your fucking ass out. And it's like, do I really want to fight this nigga? I might get him some, but he might knock me out. You feel me? So that's what type of fighter Dante is. He can't fight. Now, Fury can fight. Big Sasquatch lurch motherfucker with a reach that can really, like, you get on his horse and box with a nigga. You feel me? That's what make him special. But at the same time, He's no top type champion. No. He's a regular nigga that's got a little bit of skills. You feel me? He's really not that good. And when you watch the fight back, you're going to see, like, he's not that good. They was amping this shit up for real, for real. Now let's look at how Dante lost this fight. Doing black history, my nigga. I started to send you a motherfucking tweet, nigga, saying you can't come back to the hood, nigga. But I understood and understand what the fuck I was watching. And I seen that the superstar wasn't there. He got the rematch. You understand me? Get back in the gym. Get yourself together. Get back on your horse. Come get your title. Put your smile back on your face. And, and be Dante. You feel me? Because it's crazy how a lot of them brothers had you losing, nigga. A lot of them brothers was on your back, nigga. That's crazy how the brothers don't ride with the brothers. I don't be getting that. But you know what I'm saying? They, they boxers. So they understand like... The dynamics of this shit, like, nigga, Dante can't fight, nigga. You feel me? So I can understand that. But they know that you could knock any nigga out at the same time. But look, so round one, fill each other out. You know what I'm saying? They both got a, a, a decent punch off. Um, round two, could win either way again. Round three, Dante caught two punches to the back of his head and the top of his head. After that, and he went down. After that, the fight was over. Dante legs wasn't the same. He was off. His shit was fucked up. He was off balance. You know what I'm saying? I can't even say the word right now. I don't want to be like, blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm saying? But he was fucked up. 
you that's that's illegal to, to eat that nigga twice in the back of his shit. Nigga, a six nine nigga, a six nine nigga, man, that's two hundred and seventy three pounds that can box, and you two thirty one. That's another thing. This man was two hundred and seventy three pounds. Dante Wilder was two thirty one. He caught two heavy hard shots to the back of his head that dropped him. Not a real drop, but it buckled his legs. You feel me? So, boom. When he get back up, it seemed like he just fucked up. You feel me? The, the um, ref didn't say shit. He was sitting, he was standing right there to see that shit. But shit happened in boxing. Ain't no excuses. But at the end of the day, Dante legs was not the same after that. So um he knocked Dante down again, like in another round, some bullshit type of round where Dante was every it was all bullshit knockdowns for real, for real, to tell you the truth. Even though he was catching Dante with some flush shots because his shit was off from them two punches. Because after them two punches in the third, he couldn't get his shit together. You feel me? But and Old boy was playing the lean game on Dante. He was like leaning on Dante hard. You feel me? I don't. I guess that's what he did. He put all that weight on, and he was like, "Nigga, I'm not losing this fight, nigga. I'm hitting this nigga with with, with illegal blows, nigga, and I'm gonna lean on this nigga. You feel me? That's the match of somebody six nine, two seventy three, leaning on you, nigga, putting his weight on you, nigga. That's what he was doing. He was rocking Dante with that shit, too. That shit was like, wait, fucking Dante up. Then he dropped Dante with a body shot. But Dante, well, it wasn't a body shot like, oh, I hurt you. And then Dante was moving backwards, and he dropped down and punched Dante right here. And then Dante fell. So it was a punch, but it was off balance at the same time because Dante got up off, like, both times quick as fuck. So the champ came out of Dante. He just didn't lay down because he was beat up, y'all. He was getting beat up, but it wasn't like the beat up you think. Because if you rewind that shit, some of them shots, you could be like, oh, that was some bullshit. But just think, this is a big man. This Frankenstein you fight, nigga. You fighting Frankenstein, so Dante would not go down. And I believe if that fight could have went 12 rounds, Dante could have hit that nigga with a big blow and dropped him or knocked him out because dude couldn't finish Dante. Dante would refuse to go down, you feel me? But his ear was bleeding from the inside, you feel me? And they were saying that could fuck your whole shit up, you feel me? And that come from when he got hit on the head and it, buck and it buckled him, he was all off balance. So he was not probably even, his eyes shit was fucked up. So he probably didn't even see them big haymakers that was coming from the side that was hitting him in the ear. The nigga ear was bleeding and shit. So, um, yeah, Dante took that L, man. They threw the towel in, man. He was mad as fuck because he was still brawling. You feel me? It wasn't like dude was just dogging him with a, the ref got to step in and stop the fight. No, it was not like that. It was like Dante was just moving back because he was trying to get his legs together. And they already said he had an injury on one on his back leg that he threw his power off. But, you know, this is the fight game, man. You're gladiators, man. And sometimes, you know, you, you get in there and you like, fuck that. A nigga got to kill me in this bitch like Creed, nigga. Niggas really think like that. You got to kill me in this bitch. So that's why you must have a corner to make decisions for you because niggas are dying that motherfucker before they just lay down. And then there's some niggas that'll lay down. You feel me? So... It is what it is, man. I ain't mad at Dante. I don't give a fuck Dante lost this. But if you lose the next one, then it's a problem. But, you know, Dante, you got to get back, baby. You did your thing. You understand me? You um don't bring shit from the outside into the inside. You feel me? No matter what happened back there or what kind of problems you was dealing with, you never bring that shit to work with you, my nigga. You put that shit to the side, put in that work. And then get back to that shit, man. So I believe Dante could get back because I don't believe that Fury is that much of a good fighter. <coughs> and um, but big ups to Fury. He came and did his job. He brought all the tricks out. You understand me? He knew how to win this fight. He like nigga, there's no way I'm losing, and there wasn't no way. And everybody else knew it too, man. Drama House A Game Entertainment Two One Six. The movement we move with. It is. <laughs>